Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's discuss about stack. Stack is a linear data structure. The order in which operations are performed can be called as LIFO or FILO. Visualize a stack as shown here. The elements you put uh, from here end up in position 1, then the next element at 2, 3 and 4. So the last element which will be inserted into the stack will be the first one to go out of the stack. Or the element which is first inserted will be the last one to go out of the stack. That is last in first out or first in last out, abbreviated as LIFO or FILO. Now insertion and deletion is possible only at one end of a stack, that is the open end. Insertion is done to push operation and deletion is done through pop. So top is a pointer to stack. Initially, top will be initialized to the value of minus 1. Minus 1 means the stack is empty and you have no elements in stack. Now, uh, first we should increment the value of top a variable or top pointer and only then insert an element. Whereas for deleting an element, you delete the element and then decrement the top pointer's value. Now conditions of stack. Uh, the, there are two extreme conditions of a stack. One is underflow and one is overflow. Underflow is no element in stack but still pop operation is trying to be implemented. What is pop? I had said it is deletion. When the stack is empty, you cannot delete any element. But such a condition is called as underflow, the underflow. That is deleting an element from empty stack. Overflow. Push an element to stack which is already having maximum elements. See, suppose the stack size is 10. We are trying to push the 11th element into the stack. That is not possible because the container size is only 10 or the stack size is only 10. So that condition is overflow. Now stack implementation. This can be done in two types. One is array and the other one is linked list. In case of array, it is static memory allocation. That is the memory size is fixed. In, in case of linked list, as you all know, it is dynamic memory allocation. So you can keep on adding elements to the top of stack. Now using an array, let's see how we can implement stack. First, I'll read the code snippet. Sta stack array, then size is 10, top is minus 1. Push scanf percentage d and uh, element if top is equal to size minus one printf overflow else top plus plus stack top stack of top is element now pop if top is equal to minus one printf underflow else element is stack of top and top minus minus display if top is minus one then printf empty else for i is equal to top i is greater than or equal to zero i plus plus printf I just abbreviated it as don't write it this way. Uh, PF printf percentage D stack I. Okay, so now let's see what push operation does in the code snippet. Scan of percentage D and element. You are taking an element, say 10, 20, and 30 for now. If top is equal to size minus 1, top is minus 1, so this condition fails, we go to else. Top plus plus stack of top is equal to element. So top of 0 you are putting element 10. So element 10 is inserted and then uh, top, is, top is incremented first and then element 10 is inserted into the stack array. Now we have the other element 20. So if top is size minus 1. Now size is given as 10. Let's take it as 3. Okay. So now size is 3. Now uh, we are going to insert the second element 20. If top is size minus 1, top presently it's at 0. Size minus 1 will be 2. It's not true. So go to else. Top plus plus stack of top is element. So we are going to insert 20 over here. So top's value is not 0. It is going to be 1. Okay. Now 20 is also inserted. Now let's insert 30. Top is size minus 1. That is size minus 1 is uh, 2. But the present value of top is 1. So we will go for else top plus plus. Now top's value is going to be 2 and you insert 30 over here. Okay. And now let's go to insert the next element. If top is size minus 1. 
top is 2, size minus 1 is 2. So this condition is met. We print overflow. So that's it for push. Now pop. If top is minus 1, we we'll take the same example. Top is not minus 1. So else element is tag of top. That is we are considering this 30 now. So this is the element. Element is tag of top 30. Top minus minus. Decrement top then you delete this element. The same thing you go on repeating until you reach 10. Then after 10 is deleted top will be at position of minus 1. So if it is minus 1 it means overflow. Next is display. Consider the stack over here. We will uh, go through the display function. If top is minus 1 top is at 2. So this condition is false. For i is equal to top. i is greater than or equal to 0 i plus plus. You are going to print the stack element. That is stack of i. Stack of top. Now top is 2. So print 30. After that you again go to the loop. Decre uh, increment i. Uh, it should be decrement i. So decrement i. Top will be at 2. i will be at 2. So stack of 2. Stack of 1 will be 15. Then again go to the for loop. Uh, decrement i. It is greater than or equal to 0. So print 20. Now again if you decrement it will go to minus 1. So you exit out of the for loop. And again when you check here if top is minus 1 printf stack is empty. So now the stack is empty. So this is the code for push pop and display of a stack using array. Now let's uh, in the next session let's see about uh, linked list. Use how you implement stack using a linked list. Okay so here let's see how you will implement stack using linked list. Uh, as you all know that this is uh, the code snippet for singly linked list. We will be using singly linked list over here for implementing stack. <coughs> so struct node in data. Struct node star. Next new temp top. New is struct star node malloc size of struct node. Let's see the push code snippet then the pop and then display. So push. Scanner, percentage D and element. You are taking an element which will be sending in one by one, not all at a time. Then if top is null, new data is element, new next is null, top is new. Else new data is element, new next is top, top is new. Pop. If top is null, print as stack underflow. Else temp is top, element is top's data. Top is top's next, temp is temp's next is null. Free temp, then printf data deleted is percentage %d element. Now display, if top is null, printf stack is empty, else temp is equal to top, while temp is not equal to null, printf %d temp is data, then temp is equal to temp next, this is equal to. Okay, so now let's go to push. Push scanf %d and element. First we are inserting element 10. So if top is null, now there doesn't exist any linked list. So top is null. Uh, news data is element. Now this is the new node. Element News data field will be having elements value that is 10. So I am inserting value 10. Then this is null. New, now news next field is null. So now top is new. You are making this as top. Okay. Now else else part won't be executed again when you call and you want to insert the next element for 20 top is null this condition is false because you already have top assigned as new now you are creating a new field that is else new data is element this now this is a new node so news ele news data is element that is 20 and then uh, news next is top this is not going to be null it is going to point to this say it is at position 1000 so this will be having the value of 1000 in it news next is top news next is top top is equal to new so this is top node not this now again when you go into a loop you are inserting 30th element or element 30 as new this is new node now of course top is not null you have uh, this as top so now news data is element. This is 30. News next is top. News next is pointing to this element or node rather which is at position 2000 for now. So this is going to have a value 2000. Top is new. This is not new anymore. This is not top anymore. This is top. 
so this is a linked list which is an implementation of stack so this will be the stack implementation of this linked list see the first node this node is over here with null then to, uh, about 10 the top of 10 is 20 20 is pointing 20 and 1000 that is it is pointing the first node then again you have the third node which is new it will have value element as 30 and then it is pointing to 2000 and this is being pointed by top so this is stack implementation this is for push you are adding after 10 you are adding two uh, second element as 20 then you are adding the third element as 30 now let's see for pop if top is null stack underflow as I had mentioned over here about stack underflow that is it is a condition of deleting an element from an empty stack so if if the stack is empty you cannot delete anything so you may uh, you mention it as stack underflow else we'll consider this example temp is equal to top now this you are mentioning it as temp also okay temp is equal to top element is tops data so 30 is going to be element okay now top is tops next top is tops next that is this is going to be top not this so this is going to the second node that is 20 will be top now temps next is null you are making this as null so i will mention it in linked list yes. yeah so this is top temp according to this statement our top is tops next so this is not top the second element is top now uh, temps next is null so you are making this value as null hence the link between the third element and the second element is deleted and now you you can free this node using free free function so free temp and the memory allocated to this node is deleted now you just have these two elements again you can uh, it, reiterate that is temp is equal to top make this node as temp forget this part this is done so uh, element is tops data now this is going to be element 20 top is tops next tops next that is this is going to be top isn't it tops next this is pointing to this so this is not top now temps next is null temporary is next this value the second field value is going to be null print of data deleted is percentage d oh yeah free temp now since this li link is broken you are freeing this memory allocated and printing the data deleted is 20 same you can do with 10 uh, so when this node is also deleted you will uh, we'll have to face this condition if top is null and top is null you cannot delete so it is stack underflow now for display if top is null printer stack is empty of course top is null means there exists no node to display so it is empty now else temp is equal to top okay so consider this example if top is null print stack is empty in this condition uh, for this example top is not null you have something assigned uh, so top is not null stack is not empty so you go for else part temp is equal to top you make temporary node point to top then while temp is not equal to null of course it is not null so print of percentage d temps data okay so you are printing 30 after that temp is equal to temps next Temps next is pointing, having the address 2000, so it is pointing to the second node. Now this is temp. Temp is temps next. So this is not temp any longer. So again, temp is not null, so print the data. Uh, temp data, that is this value of 20. Then again, temp is temps next. Temp is temps next, that is to the first node, it's pointing and then you print 10. Now, temps, temp is null. Why temp is equal to temps next. This is null. So, while it is null, you come out. Now, if top is null, stack is empty. Okay, not stack is empty. I mean, uh, so when temp is not equal to null, until then you will keep printing. If it's null, it means that you have come to the first element of sta stack. That is 10, 20, 30. So, you have printed this element, this element and the final element of 10 is also printed and that's it. So thank you. Let's meet in the next video. Please do subscribe to our science tutorials channel and also press the bell icon to get more instant updates immediately.